Okay. Good. Um, so you take your piece that you want to put your paper on, and you just measure off kind of where you want it. Um, you can cut this with scissors. This is not a very important cut. I'm going to use a good brand new X-Acto knife just so I have a good sharp edge to cut with. You drag across the tissue paper like that. It should cut really well. Now, next step is I'm going to tape the paper down so it's good and flat on my surface. I made sure to leave plenty extra on the outside so that I would have space to tape it. So my paper is good and flat. If you can look and see here, one side of the paper is dull and one side is kind of shiny. You want the shiny side to be on top. So you'll put that face down. So when you glue your, um, your wing here to it, when you flip it over, the shiny side is on the outside. Okay. So now that I have my paper taped down, I'm going to grab my glue stick. This is just any old type of glue stick works fine and run it across the top of my ribs, my crossbars here. And if you break it like that, that's not a big deal. You can always glue that back. Uh, this is CA glue. Um, this is the Zap brand. You can use any type of CA glue. Um, I know uh, Loctite makes a good, a good CA glue that works well. You can get that at Walmart. Pretty much any store along those lines will have it. I made a mistake. I glued it to the, I almost glued it to the board there. And I'm going to spray a little bit of accelerator on it to help it dry. It doesn't take a lot of accelerator, just a little bit. And if you want, you can add a little bit more super glue just to make sure it's good and steady there. There you go. With accelerator, it's dry now. That is dry. So, this is the top side that has the glue on it. I'm going to put that face down onto the paper. Make sure I run my fingers all the way across all the, the pieces of wood here to make sure it's stuck good and tight. I'm going to show you two different ways of cutting the, uh, the paper off here. One way is you got your good sharp um, razor blade. You can run it across like this. That works well. You need to be very careful that you don't cut the wood because a good sharp razor blade will cut the wood like I just did there. Do you see? I cut a piece of the wood right there. That's why I have to be very careful. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut these sides off right here so I can show you the other method used. For cutting the, the paper off. And that's just with an emery board. Just This is just a, a fingernail file. You can use sandpaper too. We normally let the paper dry a little bit before doing this, but I'll show you here just so you can see. You take the wood, you take it, you turn it upside down, and you sand just like this along the edge of the, the corner. That's why we let it dry is because it, it pops up like that. As you can see, that just popped up. I'm going to put a little more glue on this corner. Just keep that down. Like that. So you hold that and you'll just sand along that edge. And that won't take any wood off your rib, but it cuts the paper off real nice. Just like that, and you've got a nice, a nice, good surface that's clean, just as clean as the razor blade. You don't have to worry about cutting the wood. I recommend using the file to cut that right there. So, there are your two ways of, of cutting the wood off, or cutting the paper off of the wood. I'll go ahead and do this other edge here, just with the razor blade for sake of time.
I'm keeping the blade at an angle so it keeps it away from the wood. That's also not a bad idea. And there you go. Um, sometimes it's easier to let the, the glue dry a little bit before you do a whole lot of work with it. Um, but not ex extremely necessary. If you have a whole lot of issues with the, the paper coming up, you can take your, your CA glue and just put a dab on the corners. Well, if the CA glue wants to come out. CA glue is not coming out, but if you just put a dab on the corners, um, it'll soak through the paper into the wood and it should hold it down okay. But that's only in emergency situations there. There you go.